this is Hemi from Korea now with a weekly K Buzz. In today's K Buzz, we will start with some amazing news. Stray Kids made another record in K pop history by topping Billboard's chart. Boy group Stray Kids debuted at number one on Billboard's 200 chart with their latest EP, Ordinary. It is the third time that a K pop artist topped the chart after BTS and Super M. According to Billboard, the album was not just the first chart topper for the act, but its first chart entry. Ordinary also achieved the biggest sales of any album in the US. The new release landed number one on the top album sales and top current album sales charts with 103,000 copies sold, making it the largest sales for an album in a week in 2022. Stray Kids' success was reflected in JYP's stock price as it finished trading at 60801 on Wednesday, an increase of more than 5% from the previous trading day. In addition, the group also became the fourth K-pop act to hit number one on the Artist 100 chart, joining BTS, Blackpink, and Super M. Stray Kids members said, after hearing the news, the members all promised to continue to show performances fitting of that rank. We are especially looking forward to meeting our fans in person during our upcoming Second World Tour and we plan to showcase our best performance yet. Stray Kids are scheduled to begin its Second World Tour Maniac next month. Congratulations to Stray Kids on their amazing achievement. Moving on, we have another historical moment with Yoon Yeo-jung presenting at the Oscars. Actress Yoon Yeo-jung is being praised for presenting an Oscar in American Sign Language to Troy Kotzer, the first deaf male actor to win the top prize. Yoon first signed Kotzer's win for the Best Supporting Actor category for his role in CODA before carefully pronouncing his name out loud. The audience alternated between clapping and the ASL sign for deaf applause, twisting both hands in the air. Prior to the presentation of the award, Yoon explained that she now understands that pronouncing candidates' names is not easy and apologized in advance for making potential pronunciation mistakes. Yoon was also seen wearing a blue ribbon pin that read with refugees on her dress to show her support for Ukrainian refugees. Last but not least, exciting news for armies in Las Vegas, BTS is ready to turn the city purple for the special event. Ahead of the Permission to Dance on Stage concerts in Las Vegas, HYPE announced that there will be more than BTS performances. From a dancing fountain water show to a club party, armies will have lots of attractions and events to enjoy before and during the group's live concerts. Under the project called The City Las Vegas, various BTS-related programs in the fields of shopping, entertainment, food and beverage, and accommodation will be offered at the concert venue, the Legion Stadium. Leading the programs will be a water show choreographed to BTS songs at the Fountains of Bellagio, one of Las Vegas' most popular attractions. There will also be an exhibition of photos, BTS-themed rooms at 11 branch hotels, a special course menu that consists of Korean dishes at the Mandalay Bay Resort, and even an after-party in which fans can continue to enjoy BTS music. As a countdown to the shows continues, the members have made their way to Las Vegas. That was it for this week's K Buzz. Are you listening to Stray Kids' new album? What are your thoughts on the Oscars and BTS upcoming concerts? Let us know in the comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe to Korea now for more updates and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!